Intersil's been in the space market for so long that some of our ICs are still operational on programs like Voyager 1, longer than many of our competition has been in this business. We have product on virtually every satellite, rocket, and shuttle launch that has gone from the U.S. and around the world since the beginning of space programs over 50 years ago. When the space program and satellites were first being launched, there were a variety of requirements that really just focused on high dose rate as a de facto standard for monitoring radiation performance of semiconductors in space. It was found that in space, in this actual space environment, that low dose rate was more the actual exposure. Low dose rate testing has turned into a really key aspect of spacecraft design because the actual radiation environment in space is low dose rate. It is not high dose rate. High dose rate is a testing environment and not an actual natural environment. Certain parts that look very good at high dose rate degrade with amazing rapidity, orders and orders of magnitude worse at low dose rate. And that is being addressed by establishing a much upgraded irradiator facility when manufacturing was first approached with this request, we went out and started looking at what was available out in the market uh, to purchase a completed tool. And uh, it turned out that there was really no completed product available. There are a number of ways in which you can, um, in which you can build an irradiator. The least expensive way of doing that is to build a concrete vault with very thick walls. And building the vault was uh, quite a feat. Uh, there's an eight foot pipe that had to go into the ground and it had to be level plumb to the point of over eight feet of being less than a quarter of an inch. And it also had to be at the height of the final finish of the floor. Then in order to make the room radiation safe uh, for all the employees in the surrounding area, the wall thicknesses had to range between four and five feet thick. The radiation source is comprised of 10 Curie pellets into what's called a rabbit, which is basically a pipe that goes up and down a rail. So whenever it's time to irradiate the product, there's a blast of air that blows this rabbit to the top of the irradiator and it mechanically gets locked in and the boards then begin their exposure time. The irradiator is a panoramic irradiator. So in other words, it's a globe and the board system is designed to form the boards around this imaginary globe. And because of that shape, we're able to maintain a consistent dose rate across all boards that are loaded into each box. And I'd be glad to show it to you, but none of you have your Homeland Security approval to look at the tool. Our testing facility can run 64 tests in parallel. And given that these are two month tests, we can accommodate well over 300 tests a year. So wafer by wafer testing means that we select four random devices off each wafer, we package them up, and we put them in the radiation chamber, and they have to come out and pass the SMD limits. If they don't pass the SMD limits, then that wafer gets scrapped. So it gives the customer a confidence level that the devices that we're shipping are rad hard. The value to the customer of getting parts that have been through the low dose rate testing program is one of assured performance in the low dose rate environments. By Intersil having this radiation assurance program where we have both high dose rate and low dose rate uh, capability, that puts Intersil in a leadership position as well as a position to you know, address this trend for the long haul. Today customers are able to determine if a part has been radiation tested at a high dose rate level by the RH designation in our part numbering scheme. Going forward, a customer will be able to determine if it's been low dose rate tested by the designation of the EH letters. Uh, EH designation means both high dose rate as well as low dose rate testing. We currently plan on releasing all of our rad hard parts in an EH flow. We are also investing heavily in the space business to continue our leadership position. All new parts that have been developed or will be developed over the next year to two, three years will also be EH tested as well. On Intersil's website, you will find information about our low dose rate acceptance testing. You will find details on the flow, uh, the irradiator itself, uh, as well as the specific parts that are being tested uh, and will be released uh, on this EH flow. There is a very detailed white paper on the website. 
Intercell has continued to make significant investment in our RADHAR new product development as shown by the number of new products that have rolled out over the past three or four years. Intercell was the first IC manufacturer to have in-house elders test capability on a production level. This is a significant investment to put this capability in place and shows our commitment to the marketplace for our next generation of space products and satellite programs over the next 30 to 40 years.